Good afternoon, this is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Uh, I am here at 3479 Amethyst Street in the uh, El Sereno area, and I'm in the process of performing a video examination of the main sewer line for Zoe Dolan. The main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So I was unable to locate any uh, suitable main sewer line clean-out access. Um, in fact, the uh, plumbing system here underneath the structure is, is uh, quite a mess. To be, to be blunt, um, cleanouts that are there are either glued on, they're installed backwards in pipes, there's duct tape on pipe connections underneath the structure, there's a lot of stuff going on under there that just really needs to be corrected and evaluated by, or sh should be evaluated and corrected by a qualified and reputable plumbing contractor. I'm not really here to look at that piping underneath the structure, we're focusing on the underground sewer pipe. So anyways, what I, uh, what I did is I dropped down through the 4-inch main building drain waste vent that uh, comes up through the roof, and I've pushed out through that drain system and into the main sewer line that exits the left side of the structure, and then it runs up along the left side of the building and property uh, out to the street. Another thing I noticed is there is a, uh, what appears to be a non-conforming unit in this lower uh, right side that has a bathroom. Um, it would have to have some sort of ejection system. Uh, in order to drain up, up to this point because its elevation is quite a bit lower, so that, that should be investigated as well. Uh, and again, I would have a plumber do that. So currently we're sitting, basically looking right into the public sewer here, about 60 feet from the side of the, where it exits the structure. And uh, because of some difficulty I had getting there, also uh, a lot of debris in this line, really hard to keep the camera clean, even with the water running. So I'm going to start here and we'll examine this line backwards. So as we pull off of the public sewer, we're pulling back up through a 6-inch diameter vitrified clay pipe. Now this is very common. These clay pipes were really the most common piping in use for main sewer line systems, especially under the streets. Now the clay pipes themselves, they do have a long service life expectancy. Since it's a, essentially an earth material, it's not really likely to deteriorate underground, but these pipes are brittle and do have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity and earthquakes. Now, right here in a few feet, we're going to pull back through a broken section here. Coming up on it now. See how the camera kind of looks towards the top of the pipe and then drops down into this water. Let's see if we can clean up the camera a little bit. This is what I was talking about. Really hard to keep the camera clean really get a, a good view of this, but you can see the break along the top of the pipe there. There's a, a piece of clay pipe actually sitting in the middle of this break mixed up with all that soil and roots. That's that jagged piece kind of in the middle of the screen right there. So here's a, a broken section of pipe. Now I've tracked and located this. It's at the front of the property, just to the left of the parking area or driveway, uh, almost nine feet deep. So this is a pretty deep line as it runs up from the side of the structure out to the front. This is the more significant broken area. As we pull back, there's a couple of other cracked sections and another minor break up closer to the structure that I'm also going to recommend repair on. I'm seeing minimal root intrusions at a few of these joints. That's not something that would really dictate repair. That's a common occurrence in these clay pipes, so long as they are isolated to those joints. There's an example of that there. But uh, certainly should have a more suitable clean-out access here. I'm able to actually snake the line and maintain it. As we get back closer to the structure, we're going to start to see a couple other breaks, so we'll get back to those areas. This is all pretty normal stuff here. As 
we come back, we're going to see one other cracked section here. That's right here. Also cracked and broken. You can see that crack again. We have a horseshoe shape on the around the top of it. Now this is where we're pulling steeply back up towards the side of the building now. And this is where we actually exit. Right here is where it changes to clay and starts to make that drop. Now I just want to get a little bit better view here. So it looks like we're kind of dropping and turning to the left slightly. Alright, so this area here, uh, it's about four feet ten inches deep at the top of the drop, so we'll, we'll track and locate that, find out how deep it is, but it looks just going to be six to seven feet deep at least uh, to get down here to fix this section. And one would uh, go ahead and install a clean out over on the left side of the structure at that time. So, as far as the main sewer line system goes here, we're looking at uh, two repairs, fairly deep repairs. Um, but I also think, you know, really stress the fact that uh, there's a lot of non-standard stuff and really uh, just unprofessionally done things here under the structure. They really need to get looked at by a licensed plumbing contractor. All right, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video portion. Um, the uh, written report will describe Final findings and recommendations, including uh, industry uh, reflection of industry standard repair costs for these type of things. Uh, this is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day.